Welcome, my friends, allies, vassals, and enemies of the state. You know who you are. King York II. Yorkie. Welcome to back to Burst in Blood, I run on Crusader King 3. Where Falkard, our current king, appears to be making a play for immortality given his age. As you can see, he's now 78. Which in 1007 AD was pretty old. He can't last much longer. I could create the Duchy of Castile, if I had the money, which I don't at the moment. I can declare wars on a few places if I want to. I don't. Um, I don't have a court position right now. I'm okay with how things stand. How are we doing here? Nobody's convert. You're attempting to bring them aboard. You're increasing control. Uh, you know what? It might be time. It might indeed be time to. No, we can't afford to bring on a position. We have a situation. Bias to Paris. My court musician approached me, practically skipping along to a rhythm one she can hear. A crumb of your attention, my lord. I prepared all, an all male choir beyond compare. According to my new method, they not only sing, but wear tights, don ornate cod pieces atop their glimmering loins, and dance in a synchronised fashion. All of it's praising God, of course. I'm certain if you fund a grand performance, I must please, it will please, it must please the ladies of the court. Fires. Paris. Oh, it's time. I'm sure their tights have too much for the ladies to bear. Remove them and hang them with it, please. Now, I'm doing all right. Alliance expired due to death. No longer allied to Al Andalus. Fine. A king for a bard. I am in the tent at an encampment ordering the Monicat of Al Andalus. Tasked with gauging the tensions between our realms. Suddenly a man answers the tent, commanding to see the new commander. Instinctively I step forward. So you're the new commander. Pretty well. <coughs> Take a challenge. The loser pays for the other's camp. It's tonight. Uh, added. Commander of the foreign encampment. Oblivious to the fact that I am Parkat and not a mere military leader. I wait until the tower and let's compete by drinking ale. Oh dear. Not so good. I'm now known as the drunkard. Well, oh. worst things it could be. Well, forcing out seven. Oh dear. And we lost a chance. Oh, we've also lost money. Queen Lucia Crane trait pregnant. We have no sons at the moment. Yes, we have a player there, Infante Martino. Who is... him? Oh. Which one? That one. I'm 
Unfortunately, we have two sons. We have one kingdom type, but that's the main thing. Jolly. Girl was not meant to be. Well, she's no longer pregnant. That sorts that problem out, doesn't it? Marshall perk available. Organized map. And we're moving on. Let's look at of Lucia. Synergize friendship. Well, uh, uh, Sonny and Farquhar, I, uh, Farquhar, I know I can count on you and all things. I wonder, will you always commit to aid each other? Ah, damn, yes. Alright. We could certainly do that. He has no allies. Then I think we shall indeed do that. Um, come now. Thank God, armies. for a while. We're in the middle of war. A curse undone. The twist and turns of fate have not always been an advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Peter. Today, however, that curse may end up enlisted. Peter smiled upon me and brought that sick man to his grave. Very good. Greetings, my perceptive late job. Delighted to be your... Yes, she can come and, uh, and stay with you a while. That's fine with me. Malik Imran's friendship. Well, numerous attempts to cut him off. He's still at me. How can you not leave me alone? Ooh, look at that overdraft here. Can import command. Good and disband all quickly. Above the main limits. Mm, that's all. Not too worried about holding one extra right now. Now. 18 days left there, 3 years left there. Uh, but, uh, maybe I should grant him a title. I could. I can't, apparently I cannot. The Infanta. I can't grant a title to her. my council around the archbishop and grant him a title
And that brings us back with it. That's where it is. Let's take a while to get back, about almost a year to get back in black. But we'll get there. Ah, now then. Soraya. Good. Oh, to learn the language. Good. The map. My spies inform me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending a large amount, old, banging loudly, about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local hill. It's for an unknown nobleman. I think the lord must be scheming against me. That's not good, but thank you for bringing it to my attention, at least. Too much salt! I have too much salt to my brood night to disgusting. Ugh, disgusting. Why would I want to eat that? I'm a king after all. I could claim Galicia. The last part thereof. Demon caught my spy master has come to grave news while we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill Matilda. Okay. A little blood always makes the place look a little more decorated, don't you think? Can't declare war because I'm in debt. Ah yes, we really need to get it um strongly into the black before we think about war again, I think. Also no, in my 80s. I think I might be making a play for immortality after all. Alicia will fall for me. My friend Lady Mayor Tegridia has been hovering around my council meeting completely. Knowing her interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the woman is waiting for me to impress her. I could probably engage her in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for her simply me uh, see me interacting with my men. Yes, indeed. Let's go get some new recruits. And right now, we are just passing time, waiting. Actually, it's pregnant again. Four years left there. An answer to all situations. I understand you're interested in deepening your grasp on warfare. There's one. His knuckles. As he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in a new light. Yes, I want to learn. Of course I want to learn. A little upset, but given how much we have here, not exactly a problem, is it? <coughs> By a person can respond. I'm sure they can, but right now I'm more interested in war. Gaining a, a good, good, strong legacy. How long until that can, uh, 1017. I've got six more years. On the road, my entourage and I come across a Catholic priest in robes. He is kneeling on the ground, looking at nowhere in particular as he chants some prayers. After he finishes asking what he was doing, he explains that recently a woman died here in an accident. She was a poor woman with no family, so out of compassion and pity, he gave her a modest but dignified funeral. 
He hopes his spirit will find peace in heaven. How noble. May we join you in praying for the spirit? Yes, let's do that. Three years each. Do I have a better marshal than you? Yes. And she is a vassal. My son, how long have you been so brave? Yes, I'll name him after me. That's down to 23 months now. I don't suppose we have a better steward than you. Means... No, wait. Yes, we do. And she is also a vassal. 22 months. A better chancellor than you, perhaps. Yes. And Pedro is also a vassal. And Lub is also a vassal. In fact, he's the one we just got rid of from there. Oh, no, that was wrong. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing here. No, no, it's not a vassal. Aiton is. There we are. Oh, good. Bowers claim of convenience. My wife, Cle Queen Lucia, eagerly brings a woman before me. My king. Allow me to introduce Fatima, claimant to the sheikdom of Ispilia. Uh, Is Fatima bows before me and says, It's an honor, my lady. Sadly, Ispilia will most likely remain out of my grasp without a out beneficiary. Well, good luck with that. Right now, we've got other focuses. Right. Galicia. It's time. Oh, actually, we're working on that already. I don't need to do that. We're working on the county of Tui already. 19 months, that's all. Now, Castile. Greetings, my serene liege. I would have been able to pay homage to you. Go her in. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Countess Talifa, uh, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference, offering nothing but her oath. It is an oath. That's uh, that is accepted. Well, sword back away. An answer to all situations. Mezran has shown me the ins and outs of all manner of varied tactics. My final test is a mock battle with him. Prepare the ranks. And I gain flexible leader. Mezran comes riding up to me impressively, shouts, The enemy! Levies stand in awe at the efficiency of my other troops. They can be little out, but everyone understood what it means to be a flexible leader. New Marshal Perkum. Are the tactics, I believe? What are we doing on uh, 15 months to 17 months? Demon discovered my spy master has come to me with great news. It is Silu, the son of King uh, Joan of Castile, that is plotting against my guest Matilda. Mm. There'll be a chance of it being overthrown or beaten. No. Contemptuous fiend. 
And I don't know why I can't go public with those, but maybe it's uh, broken, that's why. Jeeps. He has a strong hook on me, my best friend. And I have hooks on all of them. How are we doing on... Uh, 10, 20. So there's eight years until we can do anything there. Mm, it's three. I ever die? Your culture has discovered an archer, uh, archer title. Up to the task, some of my counselors believe the job is there by right of birth. Uh, I think you should stay here with me. Maybe. Who is the weakest of those? Being uh, that would be. Pedro is. 18. Imran is only 14. Go on. Talk to him. Ten months has came at court. What is wrong with Matilda? That they all want to kill her. At least let me do it. I don't know that I really want to. Oh, granted decreased. Okay. Well, whatever the reason it was decreased. Uh, now. Let me find a position. The world is full of dangerous... Uh, okay, so we have... Onika. Is a renowned physician. Decent book learning. Or, uh, Katja rushed? Did she? She rushed? Right, whatever. Deaf Diplomacy. My Chancellor had worked hard to convince our neighbour Ring Realms vessels that the peace treaty entered into with the King of Castile is flawed. Legitimate and unfair to me. Nice work, Pedro. Let's get Tui online. Which will also bring in a little more money. And then we will declare war on Castile again. Since we've been freed from the obligations and remain peaceful. How close are we now? Ah, yes, we can hold court. It seems that the efforts of my steward in the county of Tui have finally paid off. The local people have been persuaded by Kansas Tepa Sultan and Swede. I have prestige my court, faced with discontent in the whole county. Someone like Su has chosen the path of less resistance and released Tui. That is now an ambulance to your liege, my fellow. Well done, Talifa. I have a picture here. Each day it seems my court is a buzz with talk of a new banquet, and many have grown rather more portly of late. Many of my first, uh, food tasters seem more lethargic with each session, sweating more profusely as each fancy, uh, foreign fancy is looked into his mouth. The culinary activity is fueled by Queen Lucia, Amat of Al Wahab, and Zarab's uh, constant vying for demand, uh, to demand the most memorable meal of my overworked cooks. Today it is my party staff who rules. My liege, tonight I am having the kitchen prepare the richest sauces known to man. Served with a ten bird roast, the king's lips hungrily. Archbishop Imran sighs disapprovingly. These pleating pleasures are nothing compared to God's grace. I, honestly, I can't wait. Sounds delicious. 
No, let's go court. Send them in. The first to approach. An unusual case has reached my court. Two women claim that a baby boy is theirs. None of the villagers can stand as witnesses, saying that it, as if the child appeared out of thin air. No one knew that the women were expecting or adopted. Now, the mystery has captivated the people. Well, we may never know how all this happened. I must resolve the conundrum. What decision should I make for the future of the child? Well, chop it in two. And isn't that how the old parable goes? Chop it in two and give them half each. Oh no, threat to chop it in two and see who objects. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we should go with chop it in two. Uh, the youngest woman has... Uh, uh, she has more of a life. Where is the baby boy? I'm sorry. Uh, don't really want another son. Give it to the old woman. She needs someone to look after her as she ages. A holy tomb. The peasants in front of me seems about to explode the excitement. My lord, the miracles are holding us. We've been blessed. It's enthusiastic rambling. I'm not, uh, uh, rather confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. He wants me to sponsor the cult of a local saint who has recently died in, in Tia. Sebastian was a miracle maker in life, known for confessing all his sins to the crowd and eating garlic without smelling. His tomb is attracting devoted followers from all over the realm. I already know. The saint came to me in a dream. Yes. Yes, I am touched by God. Did you not know that? All saints must come before me for me to recognise them. Civic rivalry. Matt Kaysen was clearly been working himself up about something greets me. My king, the dogs of Lugo think they're better than us. He's been cracking his, their haughty jokes each market day. Majuan, the friendly swain, needs to be put in his place. And these foreign fools made to respect your city, the superior city. Words, but settle it with action. There, John wins a duel. There you go. And uh, the last petitioner departs. Various courtiers pull them out. My business day is done. My faith increases. Uh, I'm above the main limits, yes. Now, I've got a little artifact. What are we have here? Is this a finger? What will the finger of Sebastian? There we are. Now. Can you bring another aboard? Yes, a villa. Beautiful. And you get working on uh, there. And we look at my council. I'll grant you a title. I'll grant you two, which just came in. Actually, let's sponsor that, shall we? Why not? The other one, Rickberg, has the artisan inspiration. She wants to make a chess. Yes, we'll do it.
in favor of Maya. Inspiration, someone to impress. Late with my efforts to impress a fallen class. My friendship with Countess Patricia is still standing on shaky ground. It's a mess. However, I've got to be honest idea. I'll have my beneficiary, Kiara, add a dedication. That sounds beautiful. Inspiration up late. Time disappears in Ki uh, Kiara's workshop box. Is that Clara's workshop? Uh, drinking mead as we excitedly discuss the chest she is creating for me. She has a fine chest. Am I imagining things or is there an inde indescribable tension? The hour has grown late when McAfee puts down a roll, takes a deep quaff from a goblet and smiles at me knowingly. Is she I can't deny something stirs in me, my heart quickens and... I find myself holding her in my arms as she embraces me in return. What is happening? Oh, Clara. We give an old man his things. Send gift. Well, thank you. Look at pox. A fire of... Oh, dear Lord. I guess sometimes uh, an old man's sins can be uh, forgiven, but not easily forgotten. The burning sensation of my groin was growing so unbearable, I had to excuse myself and flee to my chambers. Finally alone, I could scratch myself to find release. A relief. And yet, there was no relief to be found, for my fingers found blisters. All them open. Yo! Inspiration, Fickle Philip. I bump into a very grave looking Clara, my carpenter, hoping that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid chest she should soon have ready for me. Oh, there you are, my leash. I have hit a wall in my work. Nothing major. My ears have gone. Uh, my ears have gone to ground as the pressure mounts. He laughed nervously. I just need some inspiration, my king. Might you have some prior examples I could determine? The great hall. Absolutely. Inspiration out with the old. I show Clara around my great hall, taking great pride in its luxury and the various rituals on display. He does a few rounds of the room before returning to me crestfallen. And he said there's nothing here that stands out to me. Anything else? Must be some junk lying around. Uh, it might be of a slightly high quality. I've inspired her with junk. The hell is she, Andy Warhol? As I sl uh, slip between the sheets to join Gerberger, I was horrified to find losing blisters on her most private parts. Did I do this to her? You know what they say if you if your lover tells you she has the pox. The most important thing. Most important thing. Is to always act surprised. Yeah, what the hell? Let's carry on. Carry on regardless. Cat movie. Good to you. Well, you have something, shouldn't. Uh, 
You know what? We've got plenty. You can have it. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Well, we do not need you yet. No, those plotting killed Valetsky. Well, oh, that's not good. I think it. It's kind of broke. Our war progresses admirably. Under the stone pine. In the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lutes and flutes. They sing in Arabic about beauty, glory, love lost and found again. I can hear them from my balcony, and they sit, and stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians, and when I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. They are they sent from heaven? Are they phantoms devised by Satan to ensnare me? Perhaps not. What am I to do with these damned feelings? I'm filled with song. Don't learn language. I'm sorry, uh, Italian vulgar. Observation. While in jail. I see the uh, scuffle of the thieves. Inspiration is it realised, my lord, my lover Clara, gestured me over. Two object covered in fabric with a wide grin on her face. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. He whips the covering off, and my eyes grow wide as I see what's hidden beneath. I've already seen what's hidden beneath the covering. We're lovers, remember? A chest of very fine craftsmanship. Constructed from walnut planks. The wood has been varnished to give it a rich taste, uh, flavour, uh, whatever. Now. Now. Infantry. Oh, we have a trinket still. We got a minute brooch. No, oh, but we do now. And if we go to the hall, look at these. Apparently not. Oh. A servant of the horned god. As I open my eyes in the dark, I'm immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Farquaad? I sit up. Suddenly completely awake, I look around for the source of the unfamiliar man's voice. Shadows. The horned god offers you his blessing. Will you accept it? Frightening though it is. It's surely more frightening to refuse. New ma lifestyle perk. A donation in good faith match. Bishop Imran has received a significant donation of gold from the estates of a wealthy but childless landhold landholder. Now deceased, he claims the departed lived a very frugal and pious life and wished for the gold score where it could do good. Archbishop Imran insists that I received part of the donation. Please give it to support in my name. I don't need it. I have plenty of gold for me. Um. Now, mine then. 
How are we doing here? About two days. All is fair. Many treatises have been written about the honourable conduct of war. For those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. Should I want to maximise my chance of winning in battle, it may be worthy for me to consider employing some more on off strategy. I'll trick my energy into a black temple. Successful deception! I gathered my rest new together for some war games. Eager to try out my idea of taking to a uh, route to load my enemies into a wedding extending. Once we split up into teams, I took care to show everyone how to yield just enough ground to trick the other side into moving out to the position. Without giving some much that our line would break. My new tactic worked flawlessly, allowing us to encircle the enemy team. Surrender. Ah, we're at 100 percent Enforced demand. And disband all. Feel shrinks. Impressive vassal. Call to war. Supreme King, uh, Supreme King Fakar Bamini. I call you to honor our alliance and join me in the clash against the Sultanate. Ah. Uh. Well. What is this often as well? This. That's you. You're 3,000 men. Whoops. We'll accept. We're probably not going to do it. We'll accept. Dikashi might join them against as an enemy. How are we doing in the court, by the way? Four years and eight months. Challenge for a board game! Yes, we'll accept that. Countess Patricia is already waiting to begin our little chess match. That waiting with a competitive grimace and writ large plot of features. We're neck and neck. Well, neither of us is even close to victory. We go for the kill. I play a chest like I fight savagely. A match marches on. Patricia continuing with a variety of cunning feints and ploys. Plastic somehow this woman seems to count for every stance of my employee. She's starting to win. Strong sword arm is a strong dire. A match marches on. Patricia continuing with several well-executed adaptive strategies. Plastic somehow she's countering everything. Played chess like a fight savagely. And she won. Good off to her. Howling in bestial triumph, Patricia leaps her feet. I appreciate the exuberance. We'll see who wins next time. Colton Fires form New Alliance. Alright. Mathilde comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer a child. But she's come of age uselessly. Never mind. Now, Lovers Pox, a nasty surprise. As I slide between the jo sheets, join Lucinda, uh, Lucia, I was horrified to discover fine uh, oozing blisters on the most private part. I do this to her. My oh dear, I cannot express how sorry I am. I'm not in it. I'm outside one day enjoying the unusually pleasant weather. I come across a small pond. Surrounded by large boulders. On those rocks happen to be the large layers of moss. Enough, it seems, for a good nap. Well, then take a nap and de stress. Uh, he's died. That's not good. 
She's my marshal, and she's a good marshal. My steward. You'll do, Nunio. Actually, it's actually a rough pillow. One of my servants approached me, holding my web sword in her hand. Please. I was cleaning the armor. I noticed that this were here weapon has rusted away to almost nothing. Ah. Yes, let's do that. Let's make it support artifact. Something memorable. Chest. Bastard born. There is no longer the slightest doubt in my mind. My lover Cloud has given birth to a son, and we both know the time his father. I must be very careful about this. I don't even know how to pay homage. Don't count Lub in. I wait patiently on my throne through the arrival of Count Lub, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal for the kingdom. At last I bid the Count rise, confirming my satisfaction. And Lub's right to the lands he rules in my stead. Serve me well, Lub. So you are ruling there right now. Okay. We'll break the truce. I don't really think it's worth it. Task finished. Countess Patricia of Yant Jacob finished increased control. Good. A of splendor increased. Uh, let's get a Maya under control. How old am I now? 87. Oh, that's our land Not going to have to declare war against them. Zenzia? That's not... Working on that already, so I don't need to do that. I could very easily do this. Are there any use patience, etc. we could do instead? Ah, yes, let's get some gold from the fool. Articles can be created. Dutchy Kingdom of Galicia. That would be a second kingdom. Oh, that would require 500. Make the Kingdom of Castile. Then let's keep gaining money. Greetings, King Farquhar of Amenid. 
I have considered your plight and decided to grant your own request. Well, thank you. Flying rabbits? Have you heard of the flying rabbits of the far north? My servant asked me one day while we are conversing about various matters. Fascinating creatures, do you think they're real? Don't be bloody silly. Rabbits don't fly. What have you been smoking? And can I have some? You unlock a new perk. Hit and run. Mark of distinction. As the renown of my dynasty grows, familiarity with the glorious Aminid sigil spreads too. My family's device is now recognized as in regional circles of nobility. Counted highly among the prominent Andalusian bloodlines, as it should be, of course. You are not a vassal, are you? Well, let me grant you a title. You can have the County of Astorga. Let's have a look at the... Oh, we've got two prisoners. You can both die because neither of you... A Kinslayer. Well, what do you know? Neither of you were any good. Uh, court positions. Couldn't be auctioned off. Uh... Point. 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 Oil architect. Point. My almoner. Point you. Seneschal. You can be my seneschal, and I shall be your long lost senish friend. Up there, up there, yeah. You're used to toxins, I've seen what's under your robe. Um, what poet? None. Bodyguard. Valescu. Personal champion. Also the let's go. Hmm. Don't need another bodyguard if they're just terrible. Executioner. Voila! Carpenter and executioner. What very drolls you do have. Hot poet. None. Bodyguard. Court artificer. Good. That brings my income down quite a bit, but that's all right. The thoughtful King Farquhar of Aminid. I've been corresponding with your Chancellor. Well, I'm glad you're happy with him. He deserves a raise. He's not getting one, but he deserves one. Probably 500, but uh, I want to get to at least 600. Bridge collapsed in a mire. That's not good. A bridge in a mire has recently collapsed. It was a major thoroughfare. In various villages in the region, so we must exit as soon as possible. A local can fix it. I really have other issues going on right now. Two years for the Sheikdom of Vivilla and three years for County Control in Amaya. Thank you. 
wall, by the way. Big tree! Nice! I didn't help out any, but perhaps having my troops available pleased them. Reckless relations, I can tell you there is something wrong with my wife, Lucia, as soon as we're in bed together. She's clearly distracted, and I clasp her hand gently as I ask her what the matter is. It's a money matter, she says. Oh my god, I hear that. Uh, running her free hand over her head. I have some family I short on luck, and they're close to losing their home. I you spend spend time there as a child? Looks at me pleadingly. Is there anything we can do? I'm sure they could pay it back to us. Of course, they're not going to pay it back to us. Family never bloody do, do they? They'll be good at it, I swear. Leave it to me. I am unhappy with you, dear wife. Gun learns language. Farquhar learns Italian vulgar. That's fine. Martino learns Italian vulgar language. Fine. I think I'm not going to wait to 500, it will take too long. I'm going to die soon anyway. Bastard Sunborn. Careful. 88. Can't this much longer, surely. And again, if I'm not going to live much longer, do I really want a new kingdom? Because that will split my lands up. Perhaps it would be better to wait until... Nothing you shall find. I'm travelling back from prayers, my Archbishop Imran at my side, when I see a white flash on the ground. Stooping to pick it up, I know the bone white hard circular item, a scalloped shell. Such shells are a mark of the pilgrims that travel this road on the path towards Santiago, and anyone who possesses one, especially one with the mark of Santiago printed on it, has completed the arduous journey. I turn the shell over in my hand, covetously aware of the disapproving glance of Imran. I leave the bloody shell. Just a shell. Uh, this is Royal Court. We have a new situation. Birds of a golden feather. In my flank, in the flanks of my throne room, I can hear the master of the hunt, Count Love of Valladolid. Engaging in intense negotiation with Hedwig, the Barn Owl, or the Snowy Owl, over the sale of a beautiful peregrine falcon. A highly prestigious bird for anyone's one. Lub seems to be stuck on haggling the price while the falcon are refusing to perch. Uh, from the frustration of both their voices, they've been at this a while. Perhaps they'd appreciate the king's intercession. Hedwig, you're not gonna ask too much. Oh well. I guess they didn't like that suggestion. Now then, we're at five. Let me double check. Titles can be created. Hong Kong. As I enter the village, I hear a loud honking noise, and I soon enough an angry large goose waddled in, the, uh, in its way towards me. I had just arrived here to visit a local noble who lived nearby. But here, I was standing in front of a very, very confident and irate goose bed. The creature paced back and forth, looking at me with the utmost poise and boldness, not caring about, uh, at the least, that I was king. Moments later, a commoner scurried forth and chased the goose away towards one of the houses. So sorry, King Farquhar, she said, bowing deeply. A goose stands guard over the farm. It assumed you were a stranger. I did not mean to offend. No worries, it's good, dependable goose. Right, now then. The King of Galicia would cost me... 425. 38. Usurping. 
Kingdom of Castile. The 500, that's 925. And founding a new empire. Be, that would be a total of 2100. I do not think that will work too well. So I think I will not collect any more nations or kingdoms until I pass my heir is 10. I should not live much longer. My heir is a Julian. Could live a long age, a long age and is indeed favorite, unfortunately. I can certainly understand that. It will be up to him to found future. Never would I have thought that a man could have so much love, yet it seems life has proved me wrong. Some days I feel as if my spare time is nothing but setting up burger's seemingly boundless clothes and walking in the garden with Clara. How long can I go on like these? These women will be the end of me. What's life without a little love? Mental break, imposter. Ah, the imposter syndrome. A bit think we'll sort that out. Now. Breaking fast with a friend. I am on the way to the church one, more, one morning when I run into Richenza, who is carrying a small bag. Glancing around, she conspiratorially opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. It is such a beautiful day, come join me outside for a morning picnic, she says. I start protesting that I'm on my way to the church, Richenza interrupts me. God, it will still be there later. Not more important than breakfast. It's he who powers my sword arm. Floating ship. Disturbing report from Avero. A mysterious ship has been spotted floating in the sky along the far horizon. Several, uh, in several areas by the coast. The few ships that travel to approach it could never reach it. It does not fly the flag or banner of any known people or realms. Whenever it is spotted, locals report hearing strange whistling noises like a faint, screeching, wailing wind in the night for several weeks afterwards. What strangeness? What is this? We can hold court again. Greetings, my serene liege. I have arrived in Bejar to pay homage to you. Show him in! I wait patiently on my throne for the count, uh, arrival of Count Pedro. Who is soon announced and I should before me in kneels and deference. Does then bring forth his gift of coin and precious objects. Good. The oath is taken and the scribes record his pledges to serve the Aminid Kingdom. As Count Pedro stands, he stumbles awkwardly. The court gasps in unison as he falls, and being sprawled at my feet, he's flushed with embarrassment. They're all that matter to me. Never mind, Grandeur. Oh, Jester, a good story. You look tired, my lord, my Jester Zab says. I know the cure for that. It's called Riddle Points. What do you say? Shall I start reading? Zab beckons me to sit down. It is an amusing text. I really need this break. Even does different voices for the characters. What fun. And we will end with the open court once more. Bring them forth. Seems my vassal, Count Lub, has been nursing a temper while awaiting his, uh, my audience. My lord, I cannot abide your tolerance with girls like you, Fagblad, from the realm, even if it's nobility. God made his demand to us complain. But God should be a land of the fatal, out with these uh, shady dogs. Oh, 
all fades right now are welcome in my kingdom. The woman who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, she begins, I represent the local community of Bejar. In the late the last few months, our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. All have been dug up and left no trace. At first we feared wild animals or obscure powers at work. But then your own court physician, Onika, caught red-handed, calling the dead away for their, their experiments. Please put a stop to this blasphemy. Yes. But, Nika, living bodies, right? Living bodies, they must be far better than this Two of my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. As I are about before me, my lord, murder is wanton in the city streets throughout the Amunid Kingdom. It would be civilizing if we're not going to ban the uh, keeping of weapons. Let's resolve it. Let's resolve this with violence. As the last petitioner departs, what is following? Perhaps. Ema discovered my spy has come to the news. Countess Andregato, the wife of my Chancellor, talking against my Paris. Well, interesting. <laughs> Going to work. Lots of fiend. Son learns language. Another son with Italian vulgar. What traits being gained? An unworthy challenge. At first I thought a simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Now with a battle proved more hard than I uh, fought than I expected. And it gradually became clear that he would be able unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Breaking down where he stands, he could know better than that. Right, I am eighty-nine. We are almost a nonagenarian. Let's reach that ripe old age, shall we, if we can? Ermengard comes of age uselessly. Royal Court is now at grandeur level 8. Good. Your non paid dedications are the face. Um, No, we're not going to do that. We can't afford to do that. Reading Becca. Uh, Onika brings a better book by far. From a theological aspect. Is your county released? 
It seems that the efforts of my stewardess in County of Villa have finally paid off. The local people have been persuaded. Returned and swayed by the prestige of my court. Good, well done. Are there any others you can do? Not right now. Not right now. And that will break the truce. Right. You have me. really want to claim on a county though. I'd like to conquer a kingdom. I guess that's not possible. We're close to the end. Ah, then I was good to hold off. I feel it in my very bones. Death will come for me soon. Like an old friend is patiently waiting for me. That's how he sees me. We are 90. So, we will reach the end here. Of that guy train. And we will see what happens when his son takes over. In fact, we will do that next time. Very well.